Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. Now, if you want my personal help, there's two ways you can get my help. If you visit the description in this video, you'll be able to either book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where we jump on Zoom. I can ask you some questions, see where you're at with your business, see where you want to get to. And I can show you some actionable steps to take to grow and scale. Now, if you don't want to do that and you just want to send me a question, you can do that by sending it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? So those are the two main ways you can get my help with your coaching business. So today's video is about the hottest cities in the US for private soccer training. So something I do every single day is I research cities across the world. And one of the things that I look for is what is being offered, what are coaches doing currently, and what are the upcoming trends in the private the private training space? So I speak to a lot of coaches who are based in the US. At this point, I've probably spoken to a, a coach in every part of the US. And I thought it would be a good idea to come on here and talk, talk to you about the top eight cities across the United States that I see private training really growing. Now, there's a number of reasons I've chose these eight cities, mainly because some of these are going to be hosting the World Cup come 2026, but also because a lot of the population in these cities are going to grow they're going to either double or triple uh, in population size. And that's obviously going to bring a lot of more opportunities because a lot more families are going to be moving into these cities, which means the demand for uh, soccer training is going to get greater and greater. So I want to start off with number eight. Okay, and number eight is Orlando. So Orlando, Florida, I see being one of the, the cities in the U.S. that will continue to grow. I mean, at the moment, it, there's a lot of private trainers based in this part of the country. A lot of private training is being offered. And Orlando is an area which is going to see a massive growth in population so a lot of families are moving into orlando from mainly the, the more northern states such as new york massachusetts uh, illinois so a lot of people are now moving into orlando and one of the main reasons is because of the climate a lot of coaches and trainers are also moving to orlando so having a good climate and having a, gr uh, a growing population gives you a massive, massive advantage because you can have an outdoor program all year round, which means you don't have to be moving into an indoor facility, which I know that's something a lot of trainers struggle with, is finding an indoor venue when it gets to the colder months of the year. So Orlando is number eight. It's also home to an MLS club, which is Orlando City. It's one of the newer um, MLS clubs. So Orlando, really great, great city if you're looking to start a private coaching business uh, there. Number seven is Seattle. So Seattle... 733,000 plus population. So a very big population. Home to probably one of the best MLS 
teams at the moment, which is the Seattle Sounders. And a massive advantage of being based in this in this part of the country is it's home to a lot of world-renowned universities, such as University of Washington, uh, Seattle University, and Seattle uh, Pacific University. Now, the reason why being based in, in a city that has a lot of really great college programs is that ultimately attracts migration, right? It attracts people from other parts of the world and countries and well, especially families, parents to move into Seattle. And if there's new families and kids moving into an area means the chances are there will be more of a demand for soccer. So Seattle at the moment, I know there's a massive demand for private one-on-one -on -one training. There's a lot of group training that takes place in, in Seattle. And also, it's also home to some really, really great uh, camps that are run throughout the year in this part of the country, and more specifically in summer. Right, Seattle's a, a fantastic place to be, especially in summer. And I know a lot of uh, training camps that are, are run in Seattle. Okay, so if you are a private trainer, if you're a coach, you're looking to start a business in Seattle, would highly recommend it. It's, it's number seven on my list. Now, number six, Las Vegas. Okay, Las Vegas, population of 640,000 plus. Uh, pro clubs, Las Vegas Lights uh, football club. So it's not got an MLS team, but massive demand for soccer in this in this part of the country. Advantages of being based in this city is growing population. So a lot of families are migrating into Las Vegas from other parts of the United States. Also, good climate all year round. It's very warm, which means, you know, you can be outside all year round doing your training. And it also has a lot of competitive soccer programs around the area. So there's a lot of really good clubs based in, in Las Vegas. So there is a demand for soccer. And when you have competitive clubs in the area, means parents will want to invest in supplemental uh, private training. So if you're looking to start business in Las Vegas, this is probably one of the best cities to be in and start your business. Okay, Growing population, competitive soccer program, great climate all year round, definitely makes Las Vegas one of uh, the more attractive cities in the United States to start your training business in. So Las Vegas, number six. Number five, Austin, Texas. Okay, population, just under one million. MLS clubs, Austin FC. This is one of the newer franchises. And the reason why they chose Austin is, again, because the demand for soccer is growing. It's got a great soccer scene in terms of its a lot of competitive programs in and across the Austin area. The population is growing. You're getting a lot of migration into, into Austin. So a lot of new families moving in, which means demand for soccer will, will continue to grow. Brand new MLS franchise. And the reason why is because of the need for soccer and for a team in that area. So if there's a massive demand for soccer, then what MLS do, you know, MLS do their research and they see, right, this city, this, that city are a good fit for a franchise. So if they've chosen Austin means that there is something there, competitive uh, programs, also good climate. Again, you can pretty much have a, an outdoor training program all year round so you don't have to worry about poor weather okay 
So you can have an all, all year round program outdoors, growing population means more and more families are moving into the city and the demand for soccer will continue to grow and get higher and higher. All right, number four is San Diego, probably one of my favorite parts of the country, San Diego population, really big population, 1.3 million plus people. MLS has given this city the 30th franchise team. And I believe from next season, they will be joining the MLS. So this city is going to be getting an MLS team. And the reason for it is, again, because massive demand for soccer in this part of the country. Growing population, a lot of people are moving to San Diego because great climate all year round. And also, okay, it's very, uh, it's, it's, it's a part of the country which is, it has a great culture, okay? a very relaxed place to live. So a lot of families, what they're doing is they're leaving the hustle and bustle from other bigger cities across the United States and moving to San Diego. Uh, which also that's helping the city because growth means more demand for soccer. Uh, it already has a big European club base. So a lot of European clubs such as Juventus are opening academies in San Diego. So that means one thing, which means, again, demand for soccer is there. So if you're you're a coach, you're looking to start a business in this area. San Diego is definitely one of many cities across the US that is gr a great place to open your, your training program. Okay. MLS again has given them a franchise, which is going to be coming soon to the city. So that means demand really high. For, for training, for soccer, and more and more people are moving into the city, which means more and more people will be looking for, for supplemental uh, training for their kids. Number three, LA, right? Had to be on the list. LA, huge population, big soccer culture in LA. Again, two MLS clubs, very rare across the United States for a city to have two MLS teams, but LA is one of them, okay? LA Galaxy, you know, one of the more historic clubs in the MLS, and also LAFC, which is one of the more newer uh, franchises. But again, big soccer culture, also home to, to many different professional and college soccer teams and large sports venues, right? Some of the biggest uh, arenas throughout the US are based in LA, makes it very attractive. And if you have MLS teams, then that means that there is a demand for soccer, okay? Also large population, and participation levels in LA. Okay, so really attractive place if you're looking to start a training business. If you're based in, in LA and you're looking to start, definitely recommend this city to be one of many to continue to grow and be up there as one of the soccer hubs in the US. Okay, so that number three is Los Angeles. Number two, Miami. Okay, Miami, fantastic place for training. Massive demand for it for a number of reasons. A lot of competitive youth teams are based in Miami. It just got a franchise, right? David Beckham has opened the MLS franchise there, which is into Miami. Big population, okay, 400,000 plus living in and around the city. So big population, 
good climate. So if you're a coach and you want somewhere where it has a good climate, Miami is definitely one of them, okay? Because you can pretty much have an all year round outdoor training program in Miami, okay? So very similar to Los Angeles in terms of big soccer culture, home to many professional and college soccer teams, large sports venues, okay? Miami, very attractive place to obviously go and live. So the population is growing. A lot of people are moving into Miami, which means the demand for soccer is going to get higher and higher. So if you're a coach, great, great moment now to, to start and grow your business in that city because the demand is going to continue to grow and it has a high level of participation in the sport. Okay, so number two is Miami. Number one is Raleigh in North Carolina. Okay, probably one of my favorite parts of the country, Raleigh. Uh, population 450,000 plus. That is going to double, I, I feel, in the next 10 years. A lot of people are moving down to North Carolina. Okay, a, much cheaper than some of the more northern states. Better climate. Uh, Pro Club, North Carolina FC, a really good program, very competitive. And again, some advantages of being based in this part of the country. Some of the best colleges for soccer are in, in North Carolina for both men and women. A competitive soccer environment with some of the most uh, competitive youth clubs in the United States, and it has a growing population. A growing population and demand for soccer training is, is up there. So Raleigh, for me, is number one on, on my list of hottest cities to start and grow a soccer training program. Okay, So if I was to start from scratch, the, the place I would go to today would be Raleigh best place to be in, a good climate, best colleges, some of the best players in the country are from this part of the uh, part of the US. So Raleigh, very attractive place to start and grow a soccer training business. So if you have any questions for me, you want to get in contact with me, best way to do it, visit the description in this video you'll be able to either schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me, or you can send me an email to make money coaching sports. Okay, thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.